Good morning, people from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today is a public holiday in Bangladesh, so it's typically quiet, even though it's a Sunday. Sundays usually you don't, people don't work here, and uh, Sundays are always working days. So today actually is an exception. People have gone for holidays and stuff, so it's very peaceful and quiet. Awesome. So just to uh, let's uh, celebrate that <laughs> peacefulness, I'm going with scent of the morning. This one, this is my baby, Silver Mountain Water. Once I hated it, now I love it, okay? Very love it or hate it fragrance, very daring fragrance. You know, if you really wanna feel the, you know, if you're on top of mountain and you're surrounded by clouds, sipping some tea, this is this is the kind of fragrance that you'd like to wear. It's very mature fragrance. It takes time to understand the complexity of it, but very beautiful summer fragrance, okay? So that's out of the way, scent of the morning. So what I have today here, uh, I would like to talk about car company fragrances, simple as that. And the facts you need to know, first of all, I don't own all of them and I do, I would like to get some more in my list and definitely they would make it in this list, okay? But I'm not gonna talk about them, I'm just gonna write them in the description box. Uh, just for your reference, you can buy all those three fragrances. The fragrances, okay, let's just tell the names. I think there's a pure lavender, I think uh, leather essence, as well as a uh, which one? I think it is Radiant Bergamot from House of Ferrari. Those three, check them out. I would love to get them in my collection. All right, so what I have here, I have exactly 10 left. I given away two, I mean basically and sold one. So I had actually a few more car company fragrances, but I thought like I don't need them. There was a Ferrari Umo, Ferrari Red. I don't remember the other one. It was something, something Scuderia Red. Anyway, so the 10 I'm gonna show you, I don't love all exactly the number 10, but just to make it top 10 list, I'm gonna show you. So let's start with number 10. And uh, this is from the house of Jaguar, Jaguar for men. This is a, one of the fragrance that really scares me. I tried to pull this off, it never worked with me. I guess I'm in the hotter zone. It's meant for, I think, colder weather. It would perform really, and Fragrance Matt really loves this fragrance. So this is a reformulated one, but to me what really strikes me is like the leather and the green combo, it's just too much. But the performance on this, it's beast mode. So if you like a performer, if you like masculine scent, imagine a lot of chest hair and then 70s uh, rough and tough guys. This is this is this is representing them. And uh, the original, I think formulation, if you can get, you should go for it. That's what fragrance Matt says, and I really trust the, his nose. All right. So this is a reformulated one. Try to go for the vintage one if you can find. All right. So number ten is Jaguar for men. Not my kind of fragrance. Number nine, I'm gonna go for another Jaguar. This is uh, very nice, this is much nicer, much wearable, and very casual, everyday usage. This is classic red, okay? And this fragrance actually has a lot of fruits in it. I get really, really beautiful vanilla, and people do say, you know, on Fragrantica, this one smells a lot like midnight in Paris. They get the vibe from this, okay? So yes, I don't know, uh, I wouldn't say exactly the same, but definitely has that powdery sort of feel. A little bit dreamy feel with this. Performance wise, a little bit lax, but for the price you pay, $20 or less, absolute still. I think in India you can get this online for 15 US dollars. If, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you can get this within $20 budget, definitely good bargain. Very nice, casual everyday wear. You just have to carry a decan with you every day just to make it last. So, number nine is the classic red. So, number eight is gonna be another red fragrance, but way different. From the house of Ferrari, Ferrari's Essence Oud. <clears throat> and why I'm doing this car company fragrances, uh, top list and I bought a lot of them, the reason is many of them are quality. Don't ignore them because they are car company fragrances, all right? This stuff, it's premium. I talked about this in last winter. This is a beautiful oud, uh, not so natural oud, little bit oud, but a lot of, uh, um, I think, uh, what's the other one, saffron, and I think, Saffron, Oud and Rose, yes, Rose combo. This is really beast mode performer. If you wear this in the colder weather, definitely for both gents and ladies, it's gonna be a good good, good choice for you. And for the price you pay, I think it's not that super expensive, but $50 or plus, definitely look at that. Look at the bottle. This is heavy bottle. The presentation wise, it, you can proudly showcase this, all right? Just that I can wear this in the heat, that's why it's lower down the order, all right? So yes, number eight is Ferrari's Essence Oud. Beautiful composition. Next, number seven. This is much more wearable in our conditions, and this is actually from the house of Jaguar. And I'm sorry, the bottle is a little bit broken, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna tell you. This fragrance, if you love YSL Loam, and if you like Hugo Boss bottled, but you cannot ever you know, get performance out of those two, check this out. 
this is classic gold okay the bottle is a little bit broken i'll give you the idea it dropped once and it had this border like this cap like that and it fell on this and broke so yes looks better i think it looks better yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter juice is kind of color kind of like gold just like the name this is very handsome and it's pretty good performer it's not screamer but if you go with like five sprays you can really survive the whole working day if you're living in the uh, countries where it's not supremely hot i would say spring and summer favorable condition it has a very good performance if you really want to make it last the whole day just go like two shots in the middle of the day from your decan this is one of the most perfect apple pie scents to my nose beautiful vanilla note in this okay yes it has the beautiful vanilla note in this and also uh, it's very handsome you definitely going to be the most pleasant guy in the metro rail if you're taking a train you you really want to you really will like get attention from ladies or people will be like hmm hi nice guy yeah okay not super sexy but very beautiful safe and uh, office friendly scent so i would say jaguar classic gold for the price you pay 20 dollars or so beautiful absolute steel okay look at this it has good performance on it classic gold by jaguar next is one of the fragrances i really treasure this is everyday summer wearing and it has beautiful apple note and red fruits citruses this is ferrari's man in red okay look at this beautiful bottle beautiful eye catching red it does represent a ferrari car formula one car sprayer is built in here i don't know it's readily available everywhere or not but this one i think is not this pricey so it's somewhere in the middle of the range but definitely one of the best summer scent. if you like polo red if you like any of those red fragrances this is this is ferrari's version of that and i really believe this is much better than polo's red and it's better it performs better than any of the red in their lineup there are a few other red fragrances but this one it's really i'm glad i got this okay i use a lot of it my juice level is kindly here okay but i'm just putting it lower down the order because the next five <laughs> i think the top five i love the smell uh, over the last five okay but i love this this is really really beautiful unisex wearing daily casual summer day okay fair it is man in red okay next now coming to top five yesterday i was talking about this fragrance and i reviewed it this is from house of jaguar again beautiful heavy bottle this is the heaviest bottle in my collection jaguar vision some people say it's uh, it's 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 sort of like an aventus clone i wouldn't agree because aventus is aventus is much more complex and much more um, beast mode and it has a black currant note a lot of other notes ambergris and stuff which this one doesn't have this is very simplistic scent and doesn't break your bank also similar to that 20 24 25 dollars range getting a bit rarer to find the vision number the only vision not one two three this stuff definitely try it out if you see somewhere because it has a beautiful pineapple note it's a very juicy pineapple sort of feel okay jaguar vision for men i don't think it's for men it's for both genders it can be unisex really like it oh yeah this it's beautiful okay it lasts also jaguar vision all right so number five number four i'm gonna go with my relatively newer purchase i haven't reviewed it i'm still studying it but the smell they say it's uh, it's it's sort of like a gucci puram one uh, you know reincarnated or something like that all right so this is the bottle is just phew. look at this bentley's from bentley for men absolute see i still don't remember the name yet this stuff i'm just waiting for winter to come because this one doesn't last in the summertime but the smell of it the woodiness woody incense that's what i get from it and the same perfumer who did kuchipuram one came back and did this right i'll talk about this sometime soon i'm just still testing it this is very understated and a very hidden gem sort of a fragrance for the price and for the presentation for a car company to build this it's it's amazing how this stuff works <laughs> okay so for bentley's for bentley for men intense ah horrible bentley for men absolute it's a beautiful fragrance but it's not for all it's a very daring fragrance but it's a beautiful fragrance at the same time the smell of this awesome all right so moving on to number three this is i think my only fragrance from house of mercedes-benz i tried a lot of the mercedes-benz none of them really inspired me or moved me that much they all smell like oh generic mall smells oh citrus oh pleasant but this fragrance i think it's 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 a different different game <laughs> this fragrance does have beautiful leather and has this nice tea note and it does remind you sometimes of tuscan leather layu Guam, some of this uh nice leathery scents and this is mercedes-benz lepa farm this fragrance the look at that bottle design i mean 
my god this is really when i saw the bottle i'm like let me let me sniff it out and the casing it comes in it's amazing really gorgeous this stuff trust me it's beautiful this is underrated if you just think it's mercedes benz uh, uh, no don't do the uh, thing all right do like wow because let me tell you look at the leather wrapping on this look at the premium poshness in a bottle okay when you sniff it it's amazing leather note in this okay this is beautiful fruitiness but at the same time tea mixed with it so definitely sniff it out it, i do get good performance out of it and it's more wearable version of both uh, tuscan leather and la Yupam, i would say they do compare this to that but the thing is it's much lighter much more easy wear i think even summer days when it's a little bit cool uh, if it's not super hot you can wear this in the office it will make it beautiful beautiful premium smelling leather smell and i think it's much more wearable for our all year round kind of a uh, scenario okay so check out mercedes Le Parfum, beautiful fragrance i'm telling you if i ever make a top five or top ten leather based fragrances this is gonna make it ah, lovely any any gender can wear this by the way men both male and female all right so number two and number one you guys know these two has to be, they have to be the strongest in the lineup because i've been slowly coming up right 10 to 1 so number two and number one it was very difficult for me to pick because i i really had to think so i thought like which one do i wear more that's where i went with number two as this one mainly for many intense this one smells like money 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 this one has all the ingredients i said this is perfection there's no weakness in it there's only one weakness in this and i'll tell you this one smells like uh, booze i think rum whiskey one of them i think rum Okay, people are judging me like, hey, Joy, are you drinking some rum? No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying this is boozy, this is woody, this is leathery, and it has sandalwood in it. Those notes, if you do love it, and if you like this performance on this, ooh, the performance on this is beast mode. The only drawback with this is in the summertime, if you wear this, you're going to be choking. You're going to be killing people out there. This stuff, that's the one thing which made it number two, the wearability. I am definitely looking forward to winter to wear this. This stuff, the day I sniffed it, I fell in love with this. Thanks, Shafi Bhai. Thanks, Shrikot Bhai, who let me sniff this from his collection. And despite having a lot of this other leather scents, I definitely, this is a must-have. This is a masterpiece. Beautifully crafted fragrance. And look at that bottle. Yes, this is this is niche quality juice. Take it from me, okay? Look at that bottle again. Look at the detailing on this. Beautiful sprayer as well. Beautiful lasting power. Bentley for my intense, my number two. Number one. Number one had to be special. Number one is my relatively newer purchase. I cannot tell you enough how much, how much, how much I treasure this. How much beauty. If you do love the note of Neroli, if you do love uh, fragrances for summer and spring, if you like to wear something like Tom Ford would make, Neroli Portofino. Okay. Or uh, there's also one, few others. Okay. There is Mugler Cologne that has beautiful Neroli note in it. As well as Original Vetiver. This one, my brother Fahad Bhai, he thinks this is the, I think he says this is the top of the line. Out of those three, he prefers this. This one I wanted for such a long time. This is Ferrari's Bright Neroli. This fragrance is for both genders. Anyone can wear it. It's the most up-class Ferrari fragrance so far I sniffed. Okay, Pure Lavender is also nice. And also the leather essence is also pretty nice. But this juice, it's thanks to Chad for bringing this in the community. He made this a legend very hard to find even if you can score this with 50 dollars even if you pay 70 dollars or 100 dollars write it write it down this is worth every single penny buy it anywhere you see it buy it why the presentation again look at the leather wrap all the detailing and juice color it's just elegance in a bottle sprayer on this is crazy this spray is i'm wearing silver mountain water, water otherwise i would have shown you <laughs> but anyway let me show you on the paper okay check out the sprayer how effortlessly, how nicely it sprays. Beautiful for decanting as well. What I get from this is that Neroli, that beautiful citrus is, it just instantly makes you smile, okay? First day I bought this, I brought this blind, it was a blind buy for me. I knew it's gonna be good. I don't know about Tom Ford if I would pay that much to get that Neroli Portofino, but for this Ferrari, I would be glad to pay $100 for it. This is called class, this is called like quality. 
very beautiful long lasting it lasts on you for this kind of citrusy scent like mugler cologne it has a lot of similarity to that to me this one and this one to me are very very closely related like cousins or something cousins my cousin my cousin <laughs> this fragrance yes for summer and spring you cannot get a better fragrance than this put this on and go to the office see how much notice you get where is bright neroli always lives up to the expectation all right so my number one is from the house of ferrari so that's my number total 10 that i have on ranked from 10 to 1 which one is your favorite car company fragrance do let me know and i'm sorry for a little bit long videos video because i did talk in detail right so everybody have a nice day enjoy your weekend or holiday wherever you are take care guys have a nice day bye, -bye.